Where's um, Michelle Ramon? Um, I have a job interview, you guys. So wish me luck or pray for me. Oh God! Yesterday I woke up with a neck ache, like from age. It was just like I think I slept on it wrong. I mean, it just it was like really messed up. Like I don't know. Say hi, princess. I didn't even make my bed last night. I was so tired. I just threw my sheet and my blanket on there. Say hello. Say good morning, everyone. After you pissed me off and I had to throw you outside. She really pissed me off this morning because I was like, go outside. Come on, it's time to go outside. And she was just sitting there like, I'm not going. I'm like, yes, you are. And then I had to wrestle with her in the closet. She she ran in the closet. And I'm just like, dude, get the F outside. So, yeah. You tell them how bad you were today. You thought you were a child, huh? Yeah. Yeah, now you want to say you're sorry. <laughs> so my roommate said they're going to let her in and out. Because, you know, it's hard for her to stay cooped up all day or even in the yard because, like, she thinks it's cold because she's, like, really spoiled. And she always scratches on the door to come in, but she's just super spoiled. But she had a nice walk yesterday. See what you did to me? I gave you that long walk. It wasn't that long, but I did take her, like, around to Alta and back and stuff. You are so bad. You know how mommy's good to you. So anyway, yeah, because you got to walk them and get the energy out. Um, I had some advice today. Like, I know I've gained weight, but it's actually like dieting advice. Um, I know, like, if you drink one of those naked juices every day, because, like, actually, like, an, a normal, healthy person is supposed to go to the bathroom three times a, a day. Like, I know it sounds crazy. Like, who wants to... Who wants to go to the bathroom three times a day? Like, I'm talking about, like, you know, crappy. <laughs> like, who wants to do that? Nobody does. But that's what they, the doctors say. Like, you're if you're healthy, so it's all about eating right. You have to eat right to get all the bad stuff out of your body. Like, even juicing. Juicing is really good. Like, when I get some money, I'm going to get a juicer. And I'm going to make, like, celery and all that stuff. Because I'm into health food. My grandma raised us like that. Last night I had cream of wheat for dinner. It wasn't like really healthy because the sugar and the butter, like a little bit of sugar, a little bit of butter. But all the iron and nutrition in it is good for you. So like you got to make like good, healthy choices. And I yesterday I went to the gym because I owed like a lot more and they dropped it down to 79. This one gym, uh, Planet Fitness, because I had added this black card membership because I liked the massages and all that. But I was like, I don't really need it because I have a free membership through Silver Snickers. So I was like, <clears throat> So they fixed it. I only owe 79 there and they cut off the black card membership because it was just adding up, adding up, adding up. And they dropped it down to 79 and then I owe Athletic Club 100. And I could get a free membership at any time fitness. Um, and um, me and my trainer had a falling out at EOS. So um, me and Christian are trying to fix it to where I could just work out at the one over here on Alton Rainbow. And he never used to like to work out with me, but now he wants to work out. He's been working on himself. He's and now he wants someone to work out. I was like, see, you never used to want to work out with me. And now he wants to. And now we can't because he, he can once I pay my gym membership. Then he can start going to, you know, um, my gym. Because I told him we have everything there too. Like, except for the movie theater. I used to like watching the movies in there. But, um, yeah, so we just had like falling out. And then it was not cool. You know, like two wrongs don't make a right. Like, I might have got on his nerves and stuff. It's just because what I was going through, I had been fighting like a lot of stuff over the years because CPS brutalized me and they just really effed me up in the head and they effed up my children in the head. So I'm trying to get justice right now. I got to talk to this guy today that referred me a lawyer um, <clears throat> and I'm trying to get Christian to convert to Christianity since he converted me to being a sinner for like five years, which took all my blessings down the drain. I probably could have got my kids back sooner. Because when you're serving God, you do get blessed. And he will restore what the enemy stole. So it's really important to stay focused. Like, you, even if you have to let people go. Because this one preacher told me, he said, If your friends are causing you to sin, then get rid of them. Find some friends that will accept you the way you are. Like, if they can't accept you for who you are, even if you're crazy or you're mental or whatever. My friends accept me the way I am. If, if some, you know, like my other friends, like, they were having issues too. You know, and I accepted them. I embrace people. Like, I don't even care if they're on the bus or if they're homeless. I will embrace people and talk to them and pray for them. And that's what a real friend, a real Christian would do. You know, like, I was loaning my car out before this even happened. 
you know, I loaned it out to Christian people and they left. They left my car just sitting there and I had to go look for my car. Me and Adam and Christian had to go look for my car at my friend's house. So, so pose a friend. I, you know, like I would pick up Ignelda and her son um, and take them to church when I had a car. And I would drop them off, you know, when we had our Bible study. And um, because of haters, like they'll try to turn people that you're trying to help against you. And she realized you know, Nelda realized that I was a real friend. Like I, can, I lost her on Facebook. I got to find her again, but she's, she was the usher at the church and I was just a member, but I would look out for her and her son. Cause I know how hard it is to not have a car. And I loaned my car to Heather Barnes. But then when she got a car, Oh, I didn't mean to say her name, but then when she got a car and I needed to go to Bible study, she didn't even care if I went. So that's, you know, so she could have been going through some stuff too. Like everybody is, not going to always be there for you, even though you're there for them. So you have to still forgive people, you know, that do that screw you over because they they're going through their own stuff. And, you know, like my friend Chantal, I can't always pick up the phone because she's going through stuff. And like we clash because she has schizophrenia and I have um, anxiety and PTSD. I've had PTSD all my life, but the anxiety came from Santa Clara County. And that's why I'm trying to sue them. Cause I never had that medical condition. I've never had anxiety. I've had a panic attack before, you know, but I've never had anxiety until they brutalized me with three different policing agencies and kidnapped my children twice. And the second time tried to, you know, uh, railroad me and getting them back. Uh, cause there's certain cases where they won't give you your children back cause they could use, they could use something against you, you know, which is also the ADA law violation. Because if you're willing to take their parenting classes and other people aren't willing, then why wouldn't you look at the person who's willing to take the parenting classes? You know, because I've had higher levels of classes. I'm a child care worker, a teacher. I was in three different daycares. I worked for Creative Kids. I worked for, um, what is it called? Um, Trinity United Methodist. And I used to put all the kids to bed and I had my own classrooms. And I worked for like this little no-name brown one um, by the Meadows Mall. And all the kids used to love me, you know, like I'm really good with kids because I raised my siblings for my mom. My mom had to go to real estate school, so I took care of Eric 